how are you doing today? Um, I'm doing good. It's been a long day. Took care of a bunch of stuff today. Been running around. Just haven't been on my computer at all today. Um, and I just, you know, every day when I come in and check in with you, it's kind of like, what is the theme of my day? And, you know, every day we're always learning more and more how to deal with our relationships with ourselves, number one, because really that is the biggest thing that we deal with. Even if we are dealing with issues and uh, on relationships with other people, and I'm not talking about just love relationships or family, you know, it could be family relationships, it could be friend relationships, it could be um, anything that you want to manifest in your life. So your relationship with money, your relationship with happiness, your relationship with inner peace, your relationship on mastering you is really what it's all about. And all the, the things that come our way during the day, it's all about kind of stepping back and really just not taking it for face value and thinking, what am I learning from this relationship? What, what is it that this relationship is presenting me? Especially, I mean, especially all relationships, whether they're happy, loving, um, or, or you have issues, uh, but the ones that you are really crawling under your skin, it's really a sign to look within yourself and see what's going on with yourself. So um, it's interesting because I'm really aware of this. And first of all, I always say, um, I, I told this to my manifesting e-course um, participants, that every morning wake up and notice how you feel. What's going on with you? What is your mood like? And that's the best thing you can do for yourself when you get up is notice, you know, you know what, how do I feel today? Check in with yourself. Don't just get up and start running and then running into your day and thinking of all the stuff you have to think of because then the world and the stuff around you is what is driving you, not yourself. So you have to be, it's about being aware of yourself, being aware of what's going on with you and driving yourself and aligning yourself. And then the people and the situation and the world around you will align with you too. So if you just like jump out of bed and get going off to work or whatever, and you know, whatever comes your way, you're just like dealing with it and you're thinking about stuff and you haven't even checked in with yourself to say, hello, good morning, Cindy, or whatever your name is. And how am I feeling this morning? How, what's my mood? What do I, you know, how, what's my energy level? First, just checking on that. You're worth that. We're all worth that. Saying hello to yourself. And then deciding whatever you're, wherever you're vibrating, that's what I call it. Whatever you're feeling, whether it's happy, tired, um, moody, irritated, angry, whatever it is. Then saying, okay, is this the energy vibe that I want to be in all day today. And if you're in a really good mood or a really calm mood or a peaceful mood, I would say those are pretty good ones to vibe in all day. And then if you're edgy or moody or angry or whatever, you probably don't want to be in that vibe all day. So, you know, nobody makes you feel any certain way. You allow them to make you feel that way if that's what you're doing. If you're saying, oh, well, this person's just making me so miserable. Well, you're allowing that to happen. You don't have to let that happen. You know, mastering ourselves and mastering our emotions and our inner peace is huge. It's so huge. Learning how to stay calm and centered and have your inner peace in a world where maybe chaos is going on even around you is true mastery when people are coming at you and they're angry and they're projecting their issues and stuff like that and how you either deal with how you're feeling at that moment and letting that be the vibration that you ride or you let it get you pushed out of shape and you react, that's all your choice too. And so just know that whatever vibration, whatever mood you choose to ride, 
that is what is going to dictate your day. That's going to dictate what you're manifesting actively in your life. And remember, the more emotion you put behind something, the more emotionally charged you are, the more you are so manifesting more of that. You just really have to be aware of that because when your emotions are really strong, regardless if they're joyful or hateful or shameful or guilty or whatever they are, that is what you're manifesting when you're really feeling emotionally charged about anything. So checking with yourself in the morning about how you feel and deciding, you know what? This feels good. I'm going with this one today. And say you're feeling peaceful and calm. Share that peaceful and calm energy with everyone that you come in contact with. Just share that beautiful gift with everybody because maybe other people have a hard time feeling peaceful and calm, but if you can just speak calmly and offer peaceful and calm words and wisdom and just that calmness, that vibration starts to, you know, flow towards them and they can go like, oh, I don't know why, but all of a sudden I feel so calm next to you. And that's your work for that day. But if you wake up and you're feeling edgy and moody or angry or whatever, those low emotions, you probably want to say, you know what, I don't want this to be my main vibration today because if I do this, I'm going to manifest more of this and I'm going to manifest situations like this and I really don't want that in my life. So how can I get out of this low energy feeling? What can I do? And so, you know, have your toolbox ready of what you do when you feel that way. So what works for me is going outside and just breathing the fresh air, just saying, you know what, I'm going to get a glass of water. I'm just going to go outside and feel, and be in the fresh air because fresh air really, it opens you up. It clears your mind. It, it does something to you. And then I, I will always look up at the sky and say, wow, what a beautiful sky. What a beautiful day, whether it's raining or sunny or whatever, it's all a beautiful day. Any weather that it is, it's a beautiful day. And that's my perception, you know, that's my attitude. So when you have an attitude like that, you know, that's, you'll always feel like you're always in a beautiful day and that's a lovely feeling. And then you might notice something beautiful. Well, let me look for something beautiful. You know what? That tree is really beautiful. Well, that grass is really beautiful. Look at that flower. How beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at that butterfly. It's so beautiful. When you notice one beautiful thing, then you'll know, you'll start your, it's like something clicks and you open up and you start noticing lots of beautiful things, but you have to notice one first. So it's about training yourself when you're feeling like that to go immediately and go outside or, you know, maybe turn on some song that you really like or, or, you know, eat something really healthy and delicious to shift and align your mood. It's that easy to really shift your mood. If you stay in a moody mood but just because you're going to stay in it, then you really have more issues to look at as to why you really want to stay in that mood. Because most people, if you ask them, would you rather be happy or would you rather be right? Or would you rather be happy or would you rather be angry? People are normally going to say happy. Most people wouldn't choose angry. And if they do, wow. But anyway, if you are choosing that, there's something you really, really need to look inside at and heal because that has nothing to do with anybody else. It has nothing to do with your circumstances. It has everything to do with that is inside of you. That didn't just become you. That if it's there, it's already been raging inside of you and you are just getting an opportunity to look at it and heal it because you need to get that out. If you're holding in a lot of negativity or anger or, or irritation or, you know, just, you know, really hard feelings, that's going to get in the way of your everyday manifesting in life. You're, you're going to manifest people in your life and relationships in your life that will match that. And um, so that's why you're always, you know, we're always being given opportunities to see our stuff through relationships with other people, but it's up to us to decide to look at that. It's like, okay, you know, what am I going to do with this? And choose the peace, choose choose the, the way, the, the way that flows, choose the inner peace over the struggle, the fight, the anger, 
And, um, you know, I had a um, few opportunities to do that myself today. And I've become really good at that, I have to admit. That when I might all of a sudden just go snapping like, bah, and then go, oh, wait. I don't really want to be in that vibration. I'm not going to do that. Let me just step out of this room for a minute and go collect myself and choose again. And then I'm like, okay, take a breath. I'm okay. This is cool. Go back and have the conversation with the person instead of, you know, puking all over them and, and just that, you know what? Nothing is ever solved when there's an argument. Nothing's ever solved when two people are talking and no one's listening. So I don't engage in arguments and um, debates like that because it's never going to be solved in that energy. The only way that things can be solved is when two people can come together and talk and listen and understand and want to come to an understanding. And so when it comes to the anger and stuff, you're never going to solve an argument in anger. So don't bother engaging in those sorts of things. Don't bother engaging in fighting with somebody if that's what they want to do. Or someone comes to you with their anger and tries to start arguing with you, just step out of it and go, no, I'm not going to engage in that because I know if I do, it's just nothing is ever solved when two people are arguing. Nothing. Nobody feels good after after arguing with somebody ever, ever. And nothing is ever solved in an argument ever. And no solutions ever come out of an argument ever, ever. So why bother? Why go there? Until the two people can just be in a calm, level-headed, open-hearted, productive, listening conversation, it's just never going to be solved. So pick your battles. Decide how, how you're going to deal with that. If someone comes to you like that, just back up and go, you know what, my peace is more important than just fighting because fighting doesn't get me anywhere. So choose your, when you wake up, say hello to yourself. See where your mood is and adjust it. So the rest of your day, you're vibing in a mood that will be beneficial, will help you with your manifesting, will make you happy, will bring you synchronicities, will open opportunities for you, will bring solutions to you, will bring, you know, um, the universe just will just give you present after present when, when you're in that state. So be aware of how you feel every morning. Say hello to yourself first thing in the morning before you say hello to anyone else in your morning. And ask you yourself, how are you doing today? And is this the vibration I want to be in or do I need to change it? And remember, when you are in a good place, share that with the people around you. Kindness, love, calmness, peace. This world needs that. So if you're feeling that, share that. Because just it's contagious. When you can pass it on to another person and they get that energy of vibe of calm, peace, peaceful, kindness, then they touch someone with it. So anyway, that's my thoughts for today. And... Um, Check it out. You know, do it. Just do it. And I bet you you're going to see your days get a lot better. I did tell you guys yesterday about a contest I'm going to be announcing. So what I need you to do to be in this contest is to subscribe to my videos. Number one, you have to be a subscriber. And um, so that's the first step. So if you are not subscribed to my videos, subscribe. And the second step is to continue to watch these videos to hear the announcement on the contest. And it'll be fun, I'm sure, and funny. And um, I'm going to give away a great prize, too. So anyway, I hope you guys are all doing great today. I'm sending you vibes of calmness, peace, and love. Because I'm truly feeling that today. And um, I just want to share that vibration with you. Have a great day, and I'll see you. dream change your life set yourself free with Cindy yeah join Cindy travel through Egypt see the blue Nile, Sahara desert open up your mind 
Have an adventure in the deep red sea Get your dose of spirituality Get inspired, live your dream Change your life, set yourself free With Cindy Yeah, join Cindy Get inspired and live your dream Change your life, set yourself free with Cindy Yeah, join Cindy